Yeah, we'll see how it goes with Charles. I have to take care of him and make sure to get his hysterics calmed down. <laughs> maybe <laughs> once I get that, maybe I can toodaloo down in there for just a couple of minutes. You're not going to tell him, are you? No, I won't let slip your little secret. I don't want to okay. upset the man any more than he already is. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, I better go before he comes down and finds me. Well, I'm just going to top this off. All right, yeah. you do that. Bye, thank you. <laughs> Are your crying tears gone? Oh, looks like you came down at just the wrong time, Charles. <laughs> Storm of life. Where's my baby boy? Where's my baby boy? Oh, daddy. Come over here and give your father a hug. <laughs> Prodigal father has returned. <laughs> My papa, chop liver. You just walk right on by me to go talk to Charles and give him a big old hug. Oh, well, it's Charlie. Look at him. <laughs> He's like a big old blush teddy bear. Of course I'm going to give him a squeeze. Hey, <laughs> you look fine. <laughs> As always, papa, you are your usual garrulous self. <laughs> Oh, I am going to take this cup of wine and go upstairs and read a book about well, where all you ghost. Take this with you. Here, <laughs> <laughs> you make yourself useful. I'll just put it right out there, up outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me, how was Mexico City? Oh, it was fine. I'm a woman of voluptuous, and the best part is they don't <laughs> speak a lick of English. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't hurt you. They can't wound you with their words. <laughs> When I can't hurt them, not my word. <laughs> I'm going to let that one lie, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she said I was going to get a roast. <laughs> and these things are emptier than my bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do, cry about it? Get it down here and get a good roast going. But she's out with her sister at the Blue Note. Well, I'm hungry, and I presume you are hungry, too. I am, so I think I'm going to cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need one of them talks about how to be more like a man. Mm. You don't need me to tell you. Let me show you, huh? Don't oh, know. No, no, no. I, 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 I prefer you <laughs> tell me, then. Let's go to the talk. <laughs> this kind of abuse. Uh, you have a... Uh, oh. Don't you? You got a roost. Now where are your chickens at? I happen to think that maybe I'm uh, a little high, uh, a little low on the hockey. I, I do not believe myself to be a rooster in this roost. <laughs> if you ain't a rooster, then you a hen or an egg. <laughs> I don't see a hen in front of me. I don't see a Big old shiny egg, right? <laughs> it's about this time that I wish I didn't understand English, Danny. <laughs> oh, what about it? Well, where was the little one at? I, don't, I went to go read her story. I thought maybe I could, maybe reading her book or something would allow me to feel, you know, like a father. But I found her bed a stack of pillows hidden to look like somebody. And I think perhaps she may, she may not be in the home, because I think usually when people have pillows masquerading as themselves, <laughs> that is a, a show sign that they are out of the home <laughs> and up to something that they don't want their, their parents to know about. We're not a fox. We're not a fox. There's, 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 this hen house thing <laughs> just keeps getting deeper. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> you know P P P Peter's, Peter's wife up and died, and I know that that was sad. And I was at the funeral, and we all cried, and I realized it was a it was a heartbreaking moment. Yeah, yeah, it was sad. <laughs> it, you know, and it was touching the, the card you sent. Um, <laughs> Picked it out from the grocery store. It's real nice. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll leave that particular bit of information out of the story if I ever tell Peter about it. <laughs> I mean, I imagine, you know, she bought it. Um, but there's, there's something poetic about a, being a widower versus being somebody whose wife clearly doesn't want to be their wife anymore. There's a release in that. And I don't know, sometimes I just kind of wish, and I don't wish any ill will to Robin, you know, the moon rises with her. But I just sometimes wish maybe that story, and people will be like, well, that's why I'm so lonely and sad. But here I sit with everything I, everything everyone wants. And I've never been lonely, and I've never been sad. I bleak. That is bleak as hell. You want your dead wife? No, you I want don't want to die. I, I spent the whole time saying I didn't want to die. No, I know you don't want to dead. <laughs> but you want someone else's grief? This grief that isn't in your control. And this grief you're, you're a victim to because of your own self. So you won't be a victim. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am a victim, Daddy. Victim of what? Circumstance? No, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a fool to think that that I didn't have something to do. That I'm not culpable in it. I know that because I'm a bit of a soft touch. That perhaps I don't take the throne like you used to say all the time. Uh, that maybe I. Maybe there's no one sitting in that throne. Uh, sorry, Daddy, you just bring out the maudlin in me. I, you just remind me of what I'm not. Uh, I, I had my time raising you. Raising you, raising Peter. It was fine. It was enjoyable. Would I do it again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I went through it. And now I'm on the other side. Living it up. <laughs> well, since you are in such capable hands, Charles, and since I have finished the glass of wine from down here and also the bottle that I had in my room, <laughs> I am going to go on to the moon oak and see my niece do her debut. Wait, what, what is your niece, my daughter, doing at the blue note? Did I say your daughter? I meant your wife. Your wife is there with her sister. Okay. I'm sorry, I have had a little bit too much to drink and I misspoke. Peter, you've been, you've been, I know you've had a little too much to drink. I can't imagine a day where you haven't. Well, you, you're lush. That's see, what I'm saying. I see the apple does not fall far from the tree. I will be going. I wish you both a good night. And I hope I don't see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> do you think those were, those were just drunk words? Or do you think that my daughter's down at that blue note? Well, Peter ain't one to lie. Well, he, one of them's a lie. Either <laughs> she's down there, or he was talking about it. We've proven there's a lie going on. There's a strain of deduction that. Uh, Following, I guess. I just, you don't understand. There's just so many sweaty bodies and passion and so you got love going on at that place. Well, one of your girls is one of the ladies at the Blue Note now. Yeah, no. but I, I have, I have retreated from the fact that my wife does not take joy in the, the movements of other men and. This is the saddest thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> well, well, let me same. tell you. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. Saying something. <laughs> it is absolutely saying something. Oh, come on. You ain't even said you already cried. <laughs> I will resist tears because I'm in the presence of my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you better resist harder because I see a twinkle coming on. <laughs> my daddy again and just tell me what to do. Uh, want me to tell you what to do? 
Straighten up. Chest no, up. come on. Just show me. Don't <laughs> tell me. <laughs> you got two women running wild on you. They're just going out, going up to the blue note. Blue note, that's... Women down there, they don't have families when they put in the blue notes. <laughs> they got families. So either your family's not good enough, or blue note is somehow better. I hear what you're saying, Daddy. You gotta make them want to stay here. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe I should run wild. You were maybe it's on my shoulders. Wait, you, you say you want to be a lady at the blue note? No. But then everybody can work out the blue note except for Peter. Why should I say something? Why would I say something like that? I want to be the blue note lady down there. What if I went there and was all debonair and and became the man that uh, she wanted to be her daddy? And uh, <laughs> she wanted to be her daddy. Are you, are you talking about your wife or your daughter at this point? Each sentence was for an individual. All right. <laughs> I'll just slow down a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be the most debonair man they ever met. I'm going to. I'm going to be like you, daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna be like you in Mexico City. Yeah. You don't wanna be like me in Mexico City. <laughs> oh no, I think I do. I think I, I see a twinkle in your eye. Oh, no. I see, I think that's exactly what I wanna be. I'm gonna be like you in Mexico City. Hola, bienvenido. <laughs> different ways with all the different colors. You're so attracted to it. You just want to bask in one of those colors. I feel like I faded some. Your Isn't that colors right? have faded a little bit. Mm -hmm. The age, you're still beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the age is kind of dim some of those colors a little bit. And those comments have been coming, you look good for your age. <laughs> <laughs> How's that supposed to make me feel? I feel like you should Sock them in their nose would be the best remedy. <laughs> That's why I have you, Sister Dearest. You never did shy away from punching anybody in the nose. My pleasure. <laughs> Remember when we were playing in that sand lot? Kent. I was wanting to sit on the edge and cheer on the boys, and you always out there joining in that that game of baseball.
all. I was humble beginnings. Very humble. But we made it. We made it out. Charles was my ticket. And I've just struggled up that ladder. But I'm there. I do love you and your cause. Such a self-made woman. Uh, I'm so glad and happy for you that you found your, your place. I'm happy you're happy with Charles. Emma? I don't know how you could be, but I was trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> I was down there at that club. <laughs> I am worn out. Dancing and crawling around? Well, you know that's not for me, but it wasn't from lack of people trying. <laughs> I'm worn out too. Whew. My ankles haven't felt this worked out in ages. <laughs> well, the two of you were carousing on that dance floor like the Armageddon was coming. <laughs> I've never seen so much dancing. I'm are just surprised. You, are, What's that? Are you jealous? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say I'm jealous. It's just that, you know, I'm just surprised that Beauregard let me back in there. And once I was in there, <laughs> my word. Beauregard's a friend of mine. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, something in Beauregard's, yes. You can just forget about that night. And he went, Ooh. <laughs> and then he saw you and got it. <laughs> oh. Yes. Well, I must say I am appreciative. It is nice to be allowed back into such a uh, an establishment. It's been so long. I just hope that Gwendolyn wasn't looking down from heaven. <laughs> Do you think Gwendolyn would want to look on this? <laughs> My lord, Robin. Why? Why, if I was up in heaven looking down on Charles, I'd want him to be dancing and carrying on. I'd want him to see him be happy and... You're holding Gwendolyn so close to your chest, you're not able to breathe. Well, she was my life. She was my moon and my stars. She was your way of not living. Well, how dare you, Margaret. Don't need you casting aspersions on my character like that. I choose my own way. I make my own decisions. She never kept me from anything. And I will tell you that I have had the occasional thought of moving on with my life and then I have such a horrible crushing guilt in my heart that I just find myself prostrate on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like she's a great excuse for you for not living. Oh my you, God, two of them are going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Runs in the family. I just have many things to think about, and I think best in my little, which, my little bench by the window there. So I bid you both a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Charles. Good night, Peter. I think it's time for me to go. Okay, Margaret. <laughs> you again. I do love you.